This movie is about data types, Excel data types. Believe it or not, there's only three. We have tax data types, we have value data types, and we have formula data types. And depending upon whether the output of the formula or whether the data type is text or values, will determine how Excel treats the content in terms of formatting. I have a workbook set up with some examples of text, value, and formula data types. C9 is the active cell. I've selected C9. C9 is a text field, of course. It's a alphabetic character text string, the word Christmas. The word Christmas is displayed in C9. It's also displayed in the formula bar. The thing to note about this is that Excel automatically, by default, will left justify text. So we know it's a text because it's left justified and obviously because it's alphabetic characters. This gives us a hint as to what the cell below, C10, is as well. It looks like a number. I'm going to down arrow to it. Looks like 5,545. It is, however, not a number. It's a text string with numerical characters. In the formula bar, we see that the numbers are preceded by an apostrophe. That converts what otherwise would be a value to a text string. And even though this looks like a number, like I said, it's not. It's a text string. It's left justified. If you try to perform mathematical calculations or operations on this cell, the content of the cell, you'll get error messages in your formulas and functions. The next cell, C11, has what looks to be a formula, 10 minus 6. The apostrophe that precedes the characters, we now know, converts this to a text string. So it's not a formula. It's a text string with the number 1, 0, the mathematical operator, the minus sign, and the number 6. Going to column E, left-clicking and making E9 the active cell, this is a number. It's 4,500. It's right justified. We know it's a number, therefore, for that reason, if nothing else. It's a positive number, obviously. Negative numbers are just preceded by a minus sign. This is minus 4,500. Again, it's right justified. Going to column G, left-clicking G9, this is a formula. A formula is preceded by either an equal sign or a plus sign. You can begin a formula either way. The equal sign indicates to Excel that this is a formula. When you begin a formula and you are constructing a formula, you can have mathematical operators and pull in functions and do some other things with formulas. Given the fact this is preceded by an equal sign, even though it's only got one number, it's still a formula. The formula result is a value, so it is right justified by Excel. Going down to the word Christmas, this is also a formula. It's a formula because it begins with an equal sign. It has an output or a result that is the text string that spells the word Christmas. It's in quotes. That's the proper syntax for this particular formula if you have a text string. And yes, text strings can be the result of your formula in, in many different ways. There's two things to note. The output of the formula is displayed in G10, in the active cell, the word Christmas. But the formula is displayed in the formula bar. There you see the equal sign and the quotes. The other thing to note is that the result of this formula is a text string, and therefore Excel left justifies it by default. Arrowing down to G11, we have the actual formula, which is 10 minus 6. Once again, the result of the formula, which is the number 4, which is right justified since it's a value, is displayed in G11. And in the formula bar, we see the actual formula, equal 10 minus 6. So that's the introduction to data types, text, values, and formulas. Text is left justified. Text could take the form of numerical characters at times. Values are right justified. They're numbers. They can be formatted in many different ways. We'll get to that. And formulas, which can include functions, and we'll get to functions as well. And the output of the formula is what is displayed in the cell, 
and the formula bar contains the actual formula itself and depending upon whether the result is text or values will then determine how Excel justifies that result.